And let's now move into the commodities markets. Chemaka Ajebu is a research analyst with the Financial Derivatives Company Limited, and she joins me in the studio to take a look at the prices of domestic commodities and as well as what is trending in the oil and gas sector. Good morning, Chiamaka. Thank Good you morning. for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. I know that uh, our eyes have been on the domestic commodities prices. Uh, have there been any form of price movement, apart from the fact that it's been stable, relatively stable in the past few weeks? Yes, like you said, prices have been relatively stable, with mid minor exceptions of cassava and semolina, which have had ma marginal declines and increases respectively. However, a product that stands out is rice. Rice has, the price of rice has increased substantially and this is attributed to the fact that inelastic goods such as rice are not easily susceptible to consumer resistance which has been tapering down prices or maintaining prices at current levels. And this is also attributed to the fact that rice has several uses such as um, it is used for um, producing rice flour and also something we noticed in our surveys and in our analysis is that the high end um, grades of rice are the ones contributing to the increase in price of rice generally so these high end rice products can be you know, can be seen as luxurious goods so whether the economy is moving up or down these products will still find demand in the markets and as such their prices would still be going increasing sorry okay you mentioned cassava and you, me you mentioned rice but let's switch gears and take a look at oil oil yes. is, has been a bit volatile so kind of stability as well mm -hmm. uh, has uh, been recorded in the prices tell us what is going on okay so right now price uh, oil prices have rallied and this was attributed to the fact that the dollar weakened went, went to seven week lows as of yesterday and obviously we know when dollar denominated products when the when the dollar goes down the it increases the effective demand for for dollar de denominated products so that's why we see that the price of oil has gone up but at the same time there's still a little bit of speculation in the markets attributed to the OPEC meeting that is about to take place in September so some some critics or some speculators in the markets are not sure about the successful um, freezing of oil production, so the market is a bit volatile and a bit torn by these respective views. Now, the debate over oil freeze has always been, uh, always recurring in conversations and, of course, uh, on the global scene. Do you think that this would in any way impact on the prices? Yes, of course. So if they have, if they ever come to a middle ground to freeze production, then that will ease, up, ease the supply glut in the market and obviously that will ease the price of oil. But at the same time, looking at back at the history of OPEC meetings, there haven't been any signs that there would be an oil freeze agreement. Are we seeing investment in oil uh, exploration around the world? There was a time when some companies actually stated that they would no longer invest in oil of course for obvious reasons we're seeing the volatility in prices and we're seeing the fact that the demand for oil has dropped yes but has that picked up the demand for oil is still relatively at current at the same level which it has been for a while but like i said it all depends on if the suppliers are able to come to an agreement to freeze production so that would give investors the incentive to put their money into oil exploration Mm. Yes. Now, I'm the concern over the decision of the U.S. Fed to either raise interest rate is also uh, going to be a major factor yes, that exactly. will determine the movement yes. of uh, oil. Via the um, appreciation or depreciation of the dollar. So if obviously if they increase the Fed rate, it makes dollar, the dollar and dollar denominated assets more lucrative for investors. So they will flood the U.S. markets and that also comes into um, affecting the price of oil because the price of oil will go down. So, like I said, if the Fed rate, if the Fed increase the Fed rates, then it's going to be problematic for oil prices. Uh, and for oil uh, exporting countries like exactly. Nigeria, where exactly. our revenues will be uh, uh, affected. But we've seen various issues of force majeure back home. Shell, for instance, saying that it's declaring force majeure on some of its deliveries. Yes. Uh, but on a short to medium term, do you think that would affect how much we're able to export as a country mm -hmm. 
uh, and of course the revenue that we will get yes. into our coffers. Yes, our revenue is production sensitive, so if the forced budget actually comes to play, then that will affect um, our, the level of production and also affect the revenue that comes into the country. So, yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Chamaka Ajebu, research analyst with the Financial Derivatives Company Limited. Thank you for having me.